thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Booksy. All right, guys, welcome back to the Legal Gentleman Studio. And today we've got Dean in the chair. How are you doing? Yeah, really good, thank you. Good, good, mate, good, good. So, what are we doing today? What's the plan? So, yeah, I mean, I've had my hair long now for maybe eight or nine years. Oh, wow. um, I started okay. growing out from like a, I had like a high taper, sort of 0.5. Grew it out, went through all the stages, you know, and you get the big biffy one yeah. and then sort of shoulder length through to this. And I just kind of want to change. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm looking to get it shorter, um, okay. not buzz cut, but I still want sort of length on top, maybe like a messy fringe. But I was kind of looking to you for advice on what to do on the sides, maybe like a low tape or a fade or something. Oh, right. Okay. You, want, you, want, you said you didn't want to go too short. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not on top. I want to be able to okay. do okay. something on top. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, actually, to be honest, if you can sort of guide me on what would suit me. Yeah. I mean, have you have you taken any inspiration from any pictures or anything? Have you got um, I've looked at some pictures. Okay, that's kind a little, of, just so I can kind of get yeah, an, an idea yeah, of like yeah. length and things that you're, you're thinking so of. That's, so I used to have curls like that. Oh, okay. Um, and then obviously I went through the weird stages where it was kind of oh, yeah, sitting yeah. a bit Wow, weird, they were really like tight, weren't they, the yeah. curls? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And quite thick. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was thinking, or like now it's obviously, it's not, I, oh yeah, in fact, there was when I used to have it sort of shaved on the side. Ah, uh, yeah, along on the top, top, yeah, okay. Um, but I'm thinking something like this. Yeah, yeah, or, cool. Or like that. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I should go maybe short, I'm, I'm not too sure about that. Um, maybe it's a bit, not really what I want. I think maybe something mm. more like that. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. But I really mean, you can put a twist on it, you know. You can put a twist on it. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, well, first of all, you've picked the right styles for you okay. right because you're a killer here right yeah. so it's good that you've looked at like certain shapes and stuff because like yeah. they they they're really popular them pictures they they they, uh, they come up on every single search that yeah. I look for and it's it's the shape of them you see it's the way your fringe falls forwards because that's generally what happens in your curly hair it falls forwards yeah i think the pictures that the first ones you looked at would be yeah. ideal i okay. think i really do because i think what we can do is if you could you would you mind oh yeah, 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 i'll yeah, get yeah. it up don't worry i'll get it up because it's one that okay. i've got saved so don't worry i'll get it up myself um where is that picture also with because obviously with the grades coming through um I didn't have that before, so with it being shorter, I think that's going to stand out a bit more, which I don't mind. I'm actually sort of embracing the grey, but I just know that it's going to look really different from when I had it short last time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of quite looking forward to seeing. Yeah, hundred percent. It looks like. So you see that one there, right? Yeah. So that is that is very natural around the edges, as you yeah. can see. There's still some flicks, there's neck hair involved there, and stuff like that, right? So what you could do, we could look at doing something similar to that, mm -hmm. and then if you wanted to add something a bit different to it, you could add a taper into the side bends and the neckline. Okay. And you could make that into like a sort of, you could have a little bit of texture coming through the sides into a nice taper on the side bends and the neck and then have all that texture on the top. So it's a bit more of a cleaner, more clinical version okay. of that, which I think would look quite cool. Because if you're used to having tapers and stuff like that, it could be quite nice to put a taper back in. Okay. Just for a bit of nostalgia, really. And, and yeah. it, would, it would still work. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, if, if you're happy to do something a bit, a bit like that, but with a bit more of a twist and let the greys come in and let everything f sort of fall in a bit more natural, that'd be quite cool. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. 100%? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, are you looking to donate your hair at all before we do this, or are you looking just to whip it off? Well, would anyone... I mean, it's it's grey and curly. I don't know who's going to be in the know. market for that. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't actually know if, if grey hair is anything... I don't actually know. I don't know. So it's, it's, it's up to I'm, you. If I'm like, happy to donate it, but... It, it, um, if you'd like to, it's, it's entirely... Yeah, yeah. We, we can't do the... Pro we, you'd have to donate it yourself. We, oh, okay, we yeah. don't normally do it ourselves. Yeah, no, so can... if you'd like to do that, we can yeah, do that sure, if you want yeah. to, yeah. If all right, cool, man. That's something I can do. We're taking it short, so we might as well... We might as well donate it, mate. Okay. It's it's worth a shot. You've got enough of it. You know, it'd be it'd be a shame not to it'd be a shame just to put it to waste. Because yeah. all we do is pile it over there and put it in the bin. This is the longest hair transformation I think I've done. Really? Yeah. Okay. On camera anyway, at least, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to it comes down to what to the to Yeah, it's pretty long. That's not here. Yeah, that is definitely the longest one, man. I think you'd be able to give two wigs on this one, mate, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna it's gonna be a huge change, mate. Are you uh, have you thought this through for a while now? Has this been something you've wanted to do for a long time or? Yeah, so I I I'd grown it. I was gonna cut it a little while back, but then one of my friends was like, Oh no, I'm growing my hair now. You've got to keep it. It's gotta be a you've got to keep it as well. So I ended up keeping it and he grew his out pretty long. And then he had his cut a bit shorter, sort of more like shoulder length, and I think he donated some of his as well. So Oh nice. But yeah, for me it's just it's more like I've had it. I've had it long for so long now. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I just. Feel, I feel like I. I feel like I. I deserve to just be able to let it down. <laughs> a bit. And just enjoy it for and a just bit. Just enjoy it for yeah, a bit. Yeah. Mate. It'll be such a nice like. 
it'd be such a nice change, you know, as well. Yeah. I think I think you will find it so interesting when you wake up in the morning though and you go to like shake your hair or something God, like that. It's, it's gonna be like when you lose a tooth, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. So I think um just while I'm tying this up, I thought we'd we'd be able to touch on something I don't normally talk about actually on um on camera. But it's booking systems. I thought it'd be quite nice to talk about uh, the sponsor of this video, and that is Booksy. Booksy is the one stop solution to book clients, manage your schedule, prevent no shows, streamline admin, process payments, attract new clients and keep them coming back. Now, I'm not too sure if anyone's aware, but um, Booksy is an online booking system um, through an app. And one of my favorite tools about it is that it's so easy to use. Clients get a version and we get a version, which I love. So the clients have their own Booksy app and we have the Booksy Biz app and we can do all our business through there. One of the things about it though is the ease of use from my side as well. It's just as easy for us to use it as the clients is, uh, are to use it as well, which I think makes a big difference. So sometimes some of the booking systems on, on our end can be very technical almost, but this is just super, super easy. And if I can do it, anyone can do it really. They give me the opportunity to maintain a really steady workflow, which sometimes you don't feel like you always, you always get. Now, what I mean by that is no shows, people who don't turn up, things like that. And also admin. Admin can be a nightmare, especially anyone who's self-employed like me. I'm sure there's a lot of us out there who's watching today. Being able to take control of your, your admin is so much easier all in one place, which saves me a lot of time, a lot of effort. I do it on the train when I'm heading back from London. It's, it's perfect. I mean, there's many, many more reasons why we love them, but in a nutshell, they're, one, they're, they're a few of the things that I love personally about them. Grow your business with Booksy. Click on the link in the description to get a two week free trial. So. Thanks again, Booksy, for sponsoring the video. <laughs> now, uh, now it's time for this. Are you ready? Let's do it. You sure? Yeah. Okie dokie. No famous last words now? Oh no, wait. It's tough now. <laughs> Done. Can't do it now. Feels light already. <laughs> There's one. Does it feel weird so far? No. No? no That's good. good. No regrets? No, no, definitely not. Good, good. I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pressure now. I thought the whole haircut. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, look on me. Look <laughs> oh, It's such a dad joke thing to do that. Yeah. Though, wasn't it? I've hit that age now, man, where it's just, I do some embarrassing things, you know, really. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, mate, that is a pretty cool length as it is. Yeah, no, nah, I'm I'm happy to go happy with the sure. short one. No yeah. problem, mate, no problem at all, mate. I can grow it out again if I want to. Yeah, exactly, that's it. And, that, and that, do you know what, that's the beauty of it is, right, isn't it, that you can actually, you can actually grow this out if you want to as well. So now I'm gonna go straight into the cut on this one because Dean has just literally walked in with his hair shampooed and conditioned. So there's no point in me doing it again. So I'm just gonna wet it down because it is still quite wet. It's weird just having my hair cut in general, right? This is, it's, it's been a long time. I was gonna say, so, it must feel like such a yeah. strange, strange feeling. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, think, I think that's what a lot of people felt like when COVID was on. I think that's yeah. probably, why, I think that's probably why, why the video is like what we do, shut up. Yeah. Because people were like almost missing what it, what it was like to be in a, in a chair, you know? Yeah. So I'm gonna start back and sides. I'm gonna go nice and short on palm to palm. So, because we're going nice and short, I'm gonna take one finger with sections and make all the way down. So tell me uh, sort of um, what, what what made you want to grow your hair in the first place? Um, so I actually I used to hate my curls. Okay. Um, so I went through a stage of like 
straighten it. Well, I had it. I used to have it really short, so you just couldn't notice them. And then as it got a bit longer, I'd, I'd straighten it. Um, and I, I went for a stage where you know like everyone does, where you look back now, it's like, oh god. But I had like straightened sort of a bit over the face. People yeah. call it emo. I wasn't. I was never emo, but it, it looked like when I look back at it now, it's like, oh god. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and then one day it rained on me, and like literally rained. And the hair went curly, and everyone was like, "Oh, you were getting rich." Is that what you nah, mean? No, it wasn't good. Yeah, <laughs> and my hair just went curly. This was like on a, on a night out, and someone was like, "Oh, I really like your curls." And I was sort of thought, "Oh, maybe I'll maybe I'll try wearing my hair curly now." So I went for a phase of like, like I said, a bit of a sort of taper on the sides, curly on top, um, and then I just I, I don't know if it was it was kind of like Game of Thrones sort of era where um, I saw Jon Snow. I was like, oh, "Maybe I could grow that sort of length." Yeah, yeah. So nice. I grew at that sort of length and then, yeah, I just didn't stop because it was, it was just easier to just leave it and tie it up than it was to sort of think about getting it cut and stuff. Yeah, of um, course, yeah. Nice. So yeah, that's, that was kind of what I did, but um, sort of I, f I feel like now I'm a bit happier to try something different, mess about with it a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. Good time, and I think it's like you said. I feel like it seems like the right time for you as well. You seem so like you don't see. You seem quite unfazed by it all. To be fair, getting cut short, you know. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot. I've got a lot of clients who come in and they'll go go quite short and come up from long, and they're, they're terrified. You know, they're they're super nervous, and you just seem really relaxed about it. Also, it's only hair, really, isn't it? It's gonna it it can grow. If it I can. want it to grow, I can grow it. And if yeah. and I think as well, like I don't know, like like I said, I've had it long for so long. That actually, I think, I sort of in need of the change. Yeah. Um, the last time you were this short, it wasn't um, white, wasn't it? There was no white or grey hair in there, was there? It was, yeah, so, it was maybe a couple of greys, but not like, not this sort of level. Welcome to the Salt and Pepper Club, mate. <laughs> it's not a bad club to be in, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind it. I like, I actually quite like it. But, um, and anyone you talk to is the same. They always seem to like grey hair yeah I get loads of compliments on my my grey hair yeah I, I don't really think of it to be honest I don't really think about it I thought about it more when I shaved me shaved my head for sure and yeah. I noticed how really how it just seemed to go really white then but um, but you get used to you, you really do just get used to it after a while yeah I, 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 I like it it doesn't, doesn't really phase me in the slightest so I think for me as well because I it's sort of heavier greys on the sides because um, I used to obviously tie it up every day it it kind of made it look a bit sort of dusty. It looks yeah. so. I think actually having it shorter will sort of put a bit more definition into it. And look, I think look quite good. Hopefully, yeah, I agree. So, does anybody know you're doing this? Uh, yeah, actually. So, I was going to keep it a secret from from my work. Yeah. But one of the other guys I work with, he um, he had sort of shoulder length hair. And on Monday, on our meeting, he'd had it all cut off. Ah, and then okay. they were like, oh, Dean, you're the only one left with the long hair. You're going to have to hold the fort. And I was like, well, funny thing is, I'm, I'm actually getting it all cut off on Thursday. So <laughs> so all of my work are like ready to see it tomorrow. Um, do they know that you're being filmed getting it shaved though? Or getting it cut off, sorry? Do uh, they know that? Some of them do. Not okay. a lot. Of, I was, yeah, there's a, there's a couple that know, but not, not the rest of them. Wow, okay. Um, Family will know, and then the girlfriend knows as well. She's sort of, I think, quite excited about it. Yeah, oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, so she's only she's only known me with long hair. Oh, of so course, it's yeah. It's going to yeah. be, um, yeah, not a yeah. shock. L love, is, love is blind. <laughs> <laughs> about 10 years. Is when I think back, I did, yeah, I did start growing it out, but obviously I haven't had it as long. I It wasn't. There was a time where it was kind of going through the the weird stages. Yeah, yeah. Which is really hard to get through, to be honest. Like, yeah. I look back at the photos now. I was like, oh my god, what was I doing? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, yeah. I think it's you just got to push through it, don't you? I did. I, there was a a good hairdresser that I used to go to that would cut it into at least a shape that kind of worked. Yeah. Um, but there is there is an awkward stage that everyone I think when you're growing your hair from from short to long there's that that midpoint that you're, you're not quite happy with the length yeah. you just have to just bear with it for a few weeks but yeah it was it i think when you get to that year mark after the year mark 
you, you've got to really grow it, haven't you? You know, you've got to give it six months yeah. each time to get it caught. And then, you know, I think I think by the time you get to that that year mark, the advice the advice is kind of over then, really. You, yeah. You you know whether you're gonna do it or you don't. So I think, and um, and I think that's when I that's one of the reasons why I decided to cut it short as well. Because I was like, well, I'm at that point now where I don't really. The other bit of advice is kind of gone now. It's just to yeah. leave it and see what happens, isn't it? So. Yeah, well, I I mean, with mine, I I didn't sort of plan to not cut it, but it got to a length where it just never really got any longer. I mean, it was. It was you could see how long it was, but yeah, it never really got longer than that. It was just yeah. it was always there or thereabouts. Well, that is short, isn't it? <laughs> you know I mean? Right, let me uh, taper this down a touch. So how did you find the uh, the long hair fitted in with your lifestyle? Because I know you were saying at the start, um, Party Dean was that was that one? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Party Dean was the was the guy when the hair came out. You know, um, did did you find that the longer hair fitted in with your lifestyle? Yeah, I mean, because I always tied it up, it never really looked. No, no one really knew how long it was. Yeah, of course. It's only yeah. when you let it down that it's like, oh wow, that's actually really long. Yeah, um, totally. Yeah. So I mean, for work and stuff, it was always tied up. Um, and then, like maintenance-wise, because because I just tied it up as well, it's it was pretty simple. But it, you'd wake up in the morning and it, it did just look fluffy, like yeah, it yeah, was yeah. really fluffy. Yeah, yeah, totally. um, So I'd always have to wet it. Um, yeah. Separate it a touch. And then a little bit of razor over comb as well, just to break them ends up as well. I'm going to do now on the way through the top and then we'll finish it all off at the very end. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Here's the shape cutting. Come on for a nice square shape. Straight down the middle. And layer this front in. And create some nice fullness through the front. So I'm taking a T section on the top, just from before the crown. And I'm going to layer this fringe in. One side like that. There, and the other side straight across as well to match. Just took that hair out of the way. Yeah, we're fine with the curls, mate, enough. Shrinking perfectly right mm. off. Okay. And just follow the hairline round. Wider section now, straight through the top.
Then the top and the back now. So I'll take some smaller sections, cut in the shape. Again, you take off less mm. for the curls to curl more. Okay, so it still looks like you know, obviously, I know it's not as long as it was, but you'd think you'd go a bit shorter than that to get the curls. But you'd be surprised once it's all um, when you put that water back in, moisturize it, yeah, the products in that will shrink up really, really nicely. What do you do for a living, then, Dean? Um, I'm a developer now. Um, okay. I did a bit of a career change over COVID, um, so I was I was an engineer before in automotive, and then COVID hit and uh, got made redundant and decided to sort of study coding and basically switched. So yeah, I'm at the moment working fully remote. Um, try and get in if if I can because. I do like working in office as well, like do working you? with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is working fully remote? Is that do you do you like that as well? Though, like, do you, do you think there's any perks to that? It's it's handy sometimes, but it's I think especially when you're starting a new career, it's it's nice to actually be around the people because you mm. sort of learn from them and stuff. So yeah, definitely. And also, I just yeah, I just get on well with like just the sort of social side of it. So yeah, which you don't sort of get when you're working from home. So no, definitely, not, no, definitely. So you've obviously been remote at the moment as well. You can spend a bit of time when you're here, right? <laughs> Which is good. So you're not having to rush through it yeah. before you go in the, before you go in the office or whatever. Yeah, that's good. Did you um, did you ever do any like masks or any treatments on your hair whilst it was long? Um, not really. Apart from I, the the stuff I put in it was like a leave-in conditioner, so it kind of it did condition it throughout the day, but nothing like um, no, no, nothing major. Then no, no, no like treatments done or anything like that. No. no. I'm just connecting this in horizontally now as well. Quite low down so we can preserve some of the weight and some of the length going into the curls at the top. Way down. And bring this on angle to that point there. It allows us to keep the front in play and keep the curls and the wave going as well. Yeah, slightly heavier blend, which is great because the curls all fall into each other then. Kind of disguises it a little bit, gives it a bit more of a shape, more texture, but it also allows me to maintain more length on that top and that front as well. Take all of this hair now and drop that down. So we don't need all of this length here, we might as well just take this all off and then we'll connect in the crown. So there's a guide underneath. Get rid of all this. Just take away the points. So this does it nice, nicely rounds off the back, but keeps this front and the sides square. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash this because I feel like I need to get it back into what it would be if it was like, you know, fresh washed in the morning. Yeah. So I'm gonna give this a quick wash. Um, the shampoo and I'm going to finish it and I'm going to finish it all off once I okay. set it all on. All right. Right, so I put some of the double butter on. So this is awesome, this one, okay? It's like a really thick butter. Okay. But it creates a nice bit of weight to the hair, okay? So I put on maybe about a 50 pence piece size or something like that, quite mm -hmm. a lot. Just scrunch it right in to the hair, like so. Maybe the fall from. Front, down. Now what I'll do, I'm going to dry it off with a diffuser so you can kind of get a feel for it. I'm going to just dry it off, about 80% something like that dry. Yeah. So you start to see the curl really coming in, okay? 
So if you wouldn't mind leaning your head right forwards for me. That's great. We'll drop these curls in to the diffuser. There's the curls coming back in now. Yeah. There we do. Just put that diffuser on. And bring out all these curls. Sit them through. That's about enough drying, okay? Yeah. What you can do is just put the boot, just pull that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to finish off around the edges now, while it's all um, cut into shape. Just move a little bit shorter. How's that looking for you, mate? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> so, so it's mad, much isn't it? I, yeah. it and it, I mean, I love the kit. I think the kales are great. They've really come back out as well. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're really there, mate. It's got that kind of natural finish, but with yeah, the taper added to definitely. it, you know? So that's what I was trying to, trying to show, was that kind of so like... Weird. It feels like mad, Yeah, it's it? amazing. So that's the thing, when you take it to the side like that, that's the sort of finish, like, like on the pictures where you see there's a bit of length sitting through here. Yeah. But then I just want to add a little bit of a shorter taper in just to give it a bit more of a, a sharper finish. Yeah. Because the other ones are all quite natural, quite like, like left quite uncut almost, you know? And I thought, you know what, let's just mix that up a little bit. Let's put a bit of a twist on these haircuts because we can have curls, but we can also have something that's a little bit sharper as well. That gives you a little bit more of a twist to the haircut, you know what I mean? Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you. You happy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, mate. So weird having no hair. <laughs> I always just sit in like that. Yeah. Perfect. It's got a nice shape. All fours yeah, in nicely, yeah. nice and tidy. And just sit in nicely into the side. So good. Perfect. Thank you. You're Cheers. Welcome. Thank you very much, Steve.